Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is a protocol I'm doing to ensure that I won't get sick. Or at least hopefully I won't. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. I'm now putting out videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. All right, so we're in March now in Oregon and Bend and snow's coming down again but just dressed warm, enjoying the fresh air out on a walk. So it's all good. Here's some things I'm doing to give me the best chance of not getting sick. Number one, make sure I'm getting sleep. Good sleep is absolutely critical. If you're not getting good sleep, it doesn't really matter what else you're doing because it's probably not gonna work. So do whatever it takes to get good sleep. It's the number one most critical thing. So making sure that I'm getting good sleep at night. Second thing I'm doing is I'm drinking some herbal teas from Dr. Robert Morris. He's on YouTube as well. And I'll show you in just a moment the teas that I got, but I've been drinking those for a while now, every morning, throughout the morning. Some healing teas and very soothing. So I recommend those as well. I'm also eating a very large percentage of my diet as fresh, organic, raw fruits and greens. I think the larger amount of fruits and greens you have in the diet, the better. And there's a lot of nutrients and sickness fighting compounds in those foods, especially. Whoa, doggy, calm down. So a large part of my diet is organic fruit and organic greens. And I'll show you what I'm eating in just a moment as well. And of course, exercise is important too. So making sure that I get exercise every day, but I'm not overdoing it because I think, of course, exor exercising is super important, but if you're overdoing it, that could actually lower your immune system. So at minimum, get out and walk, but you can check out the playlist on different routines that I do, but at least getting out and walking is a minimum, but I would not be overdoing it. All right, the next thing is, don't fear and don't stress out because that's going to affect your sleep at night as well. And it's also going to lower your immune system. So just get out into fresh air. Don't fear, don't stress. Everything is going to be just fine. Then of course there's intermittent fasting, which I'm a huge fan of. I have a playlist you can check out on fasting, but eat your food within an eight hour window every day, no more. So you're at least fasting for 16 hours a day that's also gonna help keep you strong. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm eating that helps keep me healthy, going strong, and here it is. I'm making a concoction of the Three Lung Tea from Dr. Robert Morris and the Heal All Tea. I actually just ran out of the Heal All Tea, so I ordered more, but these are really great teas. They help clean and detoxify, so you can check those out. If you're ever interested in finding out more about some good herbal teas. So I've been drinking those throughout the morning. Then I went and picked up some uh, raw green juice from a local juice place because my juicer just broke. So I ordered another juicer. I'm going to be getting in that in tomorrow. So I'll be making my own juice. But started off at noon with one of these juices. It's just all raw green juice. It's cucumber, ginger, kale, lemon, and spinach. And those are really good, great way to, to break your fast with green juice. The next thing I had was a big smoothie, and this is just part of it. It was about a liter big. And I used a bunch of bananas, and I used frozen mangoes, and soaked chia seeds. So a good way to start out after the juice is with a nice fruit smoothie. Really tasty and nice and sweet. After the smoothie, I digested that, and then I had a big, huge salad. It had a whole bunch of mixed greens in it. It had an apple, some dates, some cucumber, and some walnuts. So great way, get in a nice big green salad every day. I digested that, and then I had a big, huge green smoothie. This was just part of it. It had bananas, blueberries, Marcus Rosecrans Green Post Sea Mix, Daily Green Boost, and some water. And then after that, I had another big salad. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.